Hi viewers, here we have with us Dr. Nagaraja Chairperson, Department of Mechanical Engineering, Amada School of Engineering, Amada Vishwavidya Pidam, Bangalore. Welcome to you, sir. How good are our labs? Because if you look at mechanical engineering, the labs are quite uh, pivotal in learning process by our students. Uh, we talk about a lot of UTMs like Vickers, Brunel, uh, compression testing machine, tensile testing machines, spring testing machines. So there are a lot of uh, equipments uh, to be handled by our students when they go into the uh, industry or the factory. So could you somehow brief regarding our availability of these latest e equipments for our students to learn and how do you keep replacing them or how do you uh, look at the changes that is taking place in terms of modernized machines being used in industries and factories and bring them here to the labs of ours and then make our students use them and get used to them so that they fare well when they go into work in the factory. So what type of uh, changes that you keep bringing and which is your flagship lab which you have in Amada School of Engineering, Bangalore, sir? Whenever we feel there is a new technology has come in for um, uh, any old equipment has to be uh, replaced, we replace when and then and when is required. Talking about uh, um, uh, the equipments available in the uh, laboratories, so Amrita as always has been um, uh, forefront in uh, getting equipments which are the state of the art equipment. Uh, we do have uh, 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 laboratories which focus on industry 4, so which is the latest one that is uh, laboratory for, with IoT, that internet of things, which is which looks uh, new to mechanical engineers. but Today, if you look at any factory, everything is automated and you are able to control the factory from one corner of the uh, globe through IoT devices. Okay. So we are trying to try to train the students by establishing a small IoT lab in the department. So wherein they can control through internet different machines, they can operate and learn how uh, a machine can be controlled from one corner of the uh, globe a machine physically situating in some other corner of the globe. Okay. So our automation, robotics and IoT is a flagship uh, lab what we have uh, in uh, Department of Mechanical Engineering. We also have laboratories which is uh, on energy management and um, alternate fuels. We also have a state of the art uh, laboratory on hypersonics and uh, shock waves for those students who are interested in uh, aeronautic applications. Okay. So these are the, some of the flagship uh, laboratories we have. If a student comes and asks you, after hearing you, I am joining mechanical engineering, but why should I join Amruta? Yeah, that's a, a pertinent question, okay. <laughs> right, why Amruta, okay. See, uh, basically as an engineer, what does an industry look at you? Industry looks at the technical knowledge, uh, then your uh, personality, and the most important thing is, your commitment to the company and your molar values. Amruta curriculum is well designed to enhance your technical knowledge, develop your soft skills to improve your personality and most importantly your commitment to the company, your moral values by means of cultural education, storytelling, so on and so forth. Put it in three ways, an engineer or for that matter any person requires three cues the IQ and EQ, the intelligent quotient and emotion quotient, what the entire industry talks about. But in Amruta, we have introduced one more cue that's the most important one, that MQ, we say moral quotient. Okay. That's an important and integral part. Any, any company which hires a person, they want them to be loyal to the company, morally correct, and not only they lead the uh, people, they also should be morally correct. Okay. So in that sense, Amruta is different from other institutions, putting onto all these three cues <coughs> into our curriculum, into our day-to-day -day practice, okay. so that when you come out as an engineer, you not only get a degree for learning, you also for earning, you also get uh, education for life. Art, what our Amma always says, give education for, not just for living, education for life. When you want education for life, you not only require knowledge, not only require emotionally stable, you also have to be morally correct. Okay, So we just, to sum it up, we give importance to all these three Qs, IQ, then your emotional quotient, EQ, 
and the most important one, the moral quotient, MQ. Thank you so much, sir. From what I understand from uh, sir's uh, talk is that uh, it's not just uh, degree that you get makes you an educationalist or edu you are educated. Uh, degrees probably get you a sort of a literate status, but then to be educated, I think you need to have all those uh, cues, what you mentioned, it's IQ, EQ and uh, moral quotient. I'm so thankful to you for your precious time being with us and I'm sure that the viewers would have certainly benefited out of this uh, talk of yours. Sir. Thank you once again and uh, wishing you all the very best. Yeah. Thank service, you. Sir. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you.